Farmers across the tropics grow cassava, but few farmers buy cuttings. This is understandable. When you can find cassava stems for free to use as planting material, why bother buying? But by reusing planting material from the farm, diseases can be carried over from one year to the next and from one farm to another. Also, when farmers get stems from neighbors or if they buy stems in the market, they may not know what diseases the planting material has. The most common diseases spread through planting material are cassava brown streak disease and cassava mosaic virus. If healthy planting material is not used, yields gradually decrease. With old varieties, we began to see changes on the third year. At harvest, we found the roots had swellings, pores and stripes. After that, the cassava roots started to rot. We were asking ourselves, what is the problem? We realized we did not use good planting material. If your cassava suffers from diseases, Better buy quality declared planting materials from local producers. Do not use stems from your old field. Quality planting material is best produced on fertile soil. Prepare your field early. Plant with the first rains so your crop is less vulnerable to drought. Plant the cassava sticks as fresh as possible once harvested. You can keep cassava stems for 10 days, but cuttings should be planted within two days. Nina washauli, wakulima wenzangu, waliopo ndani ya muhaga hii, Tanzania. I advise my fellow farmers in Tanzania and Africa to look for planting material that will give good quality cassava. I am saying this because when you plant planting material that is not good, you will get very poor yield. I advertise myself through television, radio, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook to tell people that there is good cassava planting material available from my farm. Remember, only by using quality cassava planting material will you get a good crop.